hero the racing world had waited for. He had finally brought an end to the Triple Crown drought, and done so in a style in the Belmont Stakes that will never be seen again. But could he do the impossible at stud as well and, well, reproduce himself? Secretariat never did go on to sire another Triple Crown winner, but the closest he came was in one son who, like his famous dad, only raced as a two and three year old, and perhaps with better racing luck in the Derby, might have been able to emulate that Triple Crown feat of his father. His name was Risen Star, and while he may have been bred in Kentucky, he became the darling of the bayou as his connections were born and raised Louisianans. Owned by Ronnie Lamarck, yes, this Ronnie Lamarck. You got Owen, I say. by Louis Roussel III, Risen Star had his star do just that, rise in a meteoric way into the Triple Crown Spring of 1988. Some would also say he had a little bit of help from above as well, as trainer Roussel is a devout Roman Catholic who touted his faith in helping him get over a scare with throat cancer when he was younger. The Connections then decided to pledge 10% of the cult's winnings to the Little Sisters of the Poor, an order of Roman Catholic nuns. Probably never helps to have God on your side in these races. He was also ridden by the cagey New Iberian Louisiana native, Eddie Delahousse. In the light he raced at two, Risen Star became more of a household name as a three-year-old winning the Louisiana Derby and then going up against the highly regarded 49er in the Lexington Stakes, his last prep before the Derby. As you can see, he made a nice move on the turn and wore down 49er in the stretch to win by just about a hit. Now 49er moves up. Here comes Vision Star in the center of the track. Down the stretch. It's 49er in front with Risen Star on the outside. They're in the final 16th of a mile. 49er and Risen Star are right together. They go under the wire. Of the hopes of Cajun country to Louisville, next in the run for the Roses. Being forced wide on the back stretch and through the final turn, he just could not make up enough ground on the winner. A great beast of a filly who everyone thought, and thought wrong, would not last on the lead like she did. much internal debate as to whether to pursue the next jewel, it was finally decided that Risen Star would head on to the land of the crab cakes for the prequels. Not to be fooled this time, everyone kept closer to the big gray filly, and Eddie D gave a masterful ride up the rail to secure the second jewel of the triple crown. Star right there in third, looking for racing room, and now finding it at the rail, Risen Star, with a quick burst of speed up to take command, it's Risen Star on the inside, leading it by a head, winning colors on the outside side second 49er between them third three of them across the track as they move into the final quarter mile risen star has the lead winning colors on the outside tries to close the gap 49er dropping back and down the stretch they come risen star with eddie delahousie shows the way by a length and a half on the inside it's the philly on the outside brian's time is coming on a 16th of a mile to go risen star away from the rail brian's time with cordero trying to close the gap, Winnie Colors third, Risen Star wins the Preakness by a length. Brian's time came from far back. On Belmont, and the site of his daddy's most memorable moment. Again, he'd be facing the filly from the Lucas Barn, and the always improving Brian's time, among others. He channeled every mesmerizing fiber of his father's image in the stretch at Old Sandy that afternoon, winning in a time that was the second fastest Belmont ever to be run to that point. Eclipsed by only, yep, his proud papa. Risen star on the outside. The Preakness winner takes command from the Derby winner. Winning colors along the inside drops back second by two and a half. King 
post to close up there. That's the longest shot on the board. And he's within striking distance. Three and a half back, Brian's time. They move to the top of the stretch, and Risen Star has the lead by three. The Philly is dropping back as King Post makes his move on the outside. They're approaching the quarter pole, and Risen Star has the lead by four. Eddie Delahousse aboard. King Post is in the runner-up spot at this point. Brian's time at the rail is racing third. Winning colors back to fourth. Then great then uh, Cephas and Bernakis. But past the eighth pole, Risen Star drawing away. He looked like his daddy at this point. Risen Star in front and down the stretch they come. Risen Star drawing off. He's in front by 15, by 18. Risen Star takes the Belmont just like his daddy secretariat did. King Post finishes second. Brian's time third. Then it was Cephas, Bernakis, and the Philly winning colors finishes third. Injury suffered in that Belmont Stakes forced his early retirement. That spring campaign of 1988 was still enough, though, to earn him Eclipse Award honors as champion three-year-old, a feat that made him the first horse to become a third-generation winner of an Eclipse Award in the same category, with Secretariat taking the honors in 1973 and his daddy, Bold Ruler, taking it in 1957. As a sire, he was probably mediocre at best, most would say, but did sire Millionaire, Star Standard, and the German standout Risen Raven. Sadly, he passed away at the relatively young age of 13 at Walmart International Stud, where he is buried. The move up between horses. Tactical spring that saw his star to rise to the heavens. The fairgrounds racetrack the renamed the Louisiana the Derby Trial Stakes, a race with Risen King Star King had won on his way to his the Louisiana Derby Marie Triumph. The Thomas Risen Star Stilly stakes in his Ball, honor. Today, the Curves is a pretty important stepping stone on the road to the Kentucky home. Derby Candy for those that are looking for that ball. next important Here step and to get those crucial Kentucky Derby down. points. Candy, my boy. One the of the more well-known runners to win it in recent years is one who, well, in this minor little stakes race of note called the Pegasus in his last ever start. my boy toward the inside, then forever Mo, and Mo Tom is fourth. Tom's ready, well back. It's Gun Runner, Gun Runner. Here's Forever Mo, Gun Runner. Another today for Florian Giroux. Gun Runner holds Forever Mo and the Risen Star. This education segment brought to you by Thorofan. Check out Thorofan.com to learn everything about this amazing sport we call thoroughbred racing, and to become a member today. Thorofan, giving the fans a voice.